So I'm out just doing my job, doing other things, and making announcements like we do. And the media starts badgering me with these slogans about gay. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, um, this isn't my first rodeo. I know what they're doing. They create narratives, and then they try to run with these narratives. So I know they're lying. I don't know how they're lying, but I just know they are. So I ask myself, what is going on with this? Why are they doing this? And then I see, and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. I moved to this great state six months ago, okay? And I got to tell you, as I opened with, you guys have done it right. And it's, it's you, and it's you, and it's you, and it's you, and it's everyone in this room, and it's that Florida man knew something that the rest of us had forgotten, or maybe we never knew, and I promise you that I am here to keep Florida, Florida, and I'm also here to support this guy, ladies and gentlemen, Governor Ron DeSantis, everybody. <laughs> Governor Ron DeSantis! Florida. Good evening, Orlando. And again, welcome to the state of Florida. And uh, thank you. You know, if you come from California, we all we do have reservations when people come. <laughs> but you're doing it right, and so I really believe a lot of the people that have come in the last couple of years, I think they're making the state more red, not less red. So yes. I don't know if you heard right at the beginning. How many of you guys are new Floridians last year or two? Wow. I mean, look at that. That is a beautiful thing. I feel I can either ask you questions or we could just let people say nice things to you for the next 40 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> what, do you, what do you think we should do here? Well, look, I think it's your show. I'm just here for the ride, but we're excited to be here. And congratulations on the book, man. Thank you. Thank you. All right. All right. So... First off, we have to start with the obvious one. Gay. <laughs> he didn't even flinch. <laughs> nothing, nothing. You just... I thought that in this state, we can't say gay. There's people outside, they're freaking out. They've got bullhorns, man. What is, I mean, did, did you choose this fight or do you feel like they, they just brought it to you and you just punched back? No, yeah, look, I mean, look, I, I'm, I'm punching back. It was interesting when that bill was going through, the, when the legislature's in session, they're there for 60 days, and there's a lot of stuff that's going on. I'm not following every little committee hearing or anything. I mean, I've got dozens of priorities, and I've got folks working on it. So I'm out just doing my job, doing other things, and making announcements like we do. And the media starts badgering me with these slogans about gay. And I'm thinking to myself, okay, um, this isn't my first rodeo. I know what they're doing. They create narratives, and then they try to run with these narratives. So I know they're lying. I don't know how they're lying, but I just know they are. So I ask myself, what is going on with this? Why are they doing this? And then I see, and I'm like, you've got to be kidding me. Are they honestly going to make this the hill to die on? And so even though it was not necessarily legislation that I had authored initially, uh, I started fighting back against them because they were just lying to people and it's offensive when they're lying. And, and so we start fighting back and I would literally have these reporters, I'd say, okay, where does it say that in the bill? Uh, okay, it doesn't say that in the bill. What does it say? Oh, okay. so, you know, and so it was, it, was, it, it, it was good, we were fighting back. And then you had this situation where you had the corporations, mostly Disney, deciding to get involved. And I think people look at that, they're like, first of all, I don't know why they got involved in this. It was a huge mistake for them. They think they've lost 60 billion in market cap since they got involved. Uh, but what, what the left is doing though, it's honestly smart for them. 
they know that if people knew that if they were running for election on gender ideology for kindergarten and first graders, that would not fly with the voters, okay? Uh, parents just don't want that for these young kids. And a lot of the elderly in Florida don't even know what the hell you're talking about. So it's not, it's not good. And they know they can't win elections on that. So I think what they, what they try to do, which is smart, they say, okay, if we could subcontract out our leftism to a corporation, pressure the corporation to come on our side, then maybe they can get these elected officials to cave. And you know what? It's not a dumb strategy because there have been a lot of Republican governors that have caved to corporate pressure. You've had Republican governors veto bills just to protect women's athletics and women's sports because some of the businesses got upset. So I understood why they were doing it. I thought it was a mistake for Disney to get involved. And I told them you shouldn't get involved. It's not gonna work out well for you. So they kind of got involved. <laughs> I, I don't know if you heard what Donald Duck's been up to, but. Just, but t tell you know, you but the thing is, 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 you know, they're gonna go out, and I, honestly, I think it's ridiculous when these corporations do all this stuff. But I mean, you're free to do it, but when they're lying and they're ex accepting these phony narratives, just think what happened last year when Georgia did their election integrity law. You had a massive hysteria by corporate media, by the left, by uh, Twitter and all this stuff. You had Delta Airlines, you had Coca-Cola, demagogue the bill, they equated it to Jim Crow. You had Major League Baseball move the All-Star game out of Atlanta. And so we've now had our first election in Georgia uh, earlier or last month under the new law. Record voter turnout. And so they were lying about the Georgia bill. Anyone who read it would know. And so I think when they're accepting these false narratives, especially if it's about people in my state that are in the legislature or whatever, we have a responsibility uh, to fight back. But I think Disney took it one step further when they put out this incredible statement after they already did all their virtue signaling, after we signed the bill saying this was somehow a violation of human rights and that they would work to see that parents' rights and education were repealed through the legislature. And I'm just thinking to myself, um, you know, I took an oath to support the laws and constitution uh, of the US and the state of Florida. I did not take an oath to subcontract out my leadership to a corporation based in Burbank, California. They don't run this state. And so, but again, they are free to do that, I think, for a publicly traded corporation. I think it's stupid. And so I think that you're gonna have a situation. All right, butt out. Nobody wants to hear from you. Nobody wants to hear from you. Get out of here. Got plenty of friends for you across the street, my man. So they, they get in, they're gonna they commit themselves to this really ridiculous uh, course of action. And they're free to do that. It's not smart as a public trade, but you are free to do that. But they are not free to force all of us to subsidize their activism. And that's what they were doing. They have their own government, or they did have their own government right here. They're exempt from laws. They get massive tax breaks. And so, you know, if their company is committed to that view of what's appropriate for children and parents uh, as the state, we just can't have a partnership with that. And so we're out. And that's why we took action to dissolve their own government. If you're looking for more honest and thoughtful conversations about politics instead of nonstop yelling, check out our politics playlist. And if you want to watch full interviews on a variety of topics, watch our full episode playlist all right over here. And to get notified of all future videos, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell.